Madeline. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone. He dialed Danton 6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. Sorry, and a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so ten days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline. Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door. Tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far, on, a, on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, Please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, Boo-hoo! We want to have our appendix out, too!
Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you're well, and now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door, and that is all there is. There isn't any more.